with you. Sometimes when I do Karen videos or TikToks or TikToks of Karen videos, people wonder why I even bother with this type of content as if it's not news. Completely missing not only the point, but the point of view of everyday people providing perspective. Now this Karen thing happened in Cathedral Heights, DC. Apparently this man was her Uber driver. This video was shared on social media and in the comment section, some said this had something to do with the driver not allowing the passenger to use the phone charger for whatever reason. And I can understand why anyone would ask what happened before the camera started rolling? Was there anything this man did, they asked, without realizing that they are wondering what, if anything, could lead someone to calling a black person the N-word and a slave? Nothing. There's nothing any person can do to provoke someone to use racial slurs. Here's where perspective comes in. It sounded like the woman recording the above view of the altercation gasped when the Karen used the N-word and called him a slave. And while I'm glad she grabbed her phone, I hope she's not surprised by this behavior. Maybe she's shocked that she's seeing it in person. Oh, and as you may have noticed, the Uber driver was recording too, and this is his vantage point. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Let the whole world hear. Let the whole world hear. Say it again. There you go. There you go. There you go. Why don't you wait for the police? Wait for the police. Wait for the police. Come on. But this exchange in the comment section is what I want to highlight. Someone asks why we keep giving energy to this stuff. Now, before I continue, we can focus on more than one thing. But the reply this tweeter received is key. This is DC. For all we know, she is a lawmaker or is adjacent to them. There it is. These Karens are in neighborhoods harboring how they truly feel about black people and it comes out in dangerous ways. She may be a butcher, a baker, a cappuccino maker. How is she serving our communities and living amongst us? She put her hands on him at the end of the video, by the way, and he kept his composure. Good work out of him. For what it's worth, Uber banned her account. I don't know if her name and employer have been exposed yet though. See, usually Karenings involve them calling the police on others. People typically minding their own business in order for law enforcement to bring the brutality. But these Karens are starting to do it themselves. Also, the Uber driver is bold for calling the police. With all of that being said, this, of course, could have been worse. However, seeing how this Karen didn't stay around for the cops to arrive, and we know why, here's a public service announcement on how we could handle these situations moving forward. Tell me what you gonna do to me? Yes, yeah, sound like you threatening me. I'm feeling real threatened right now by this white lady. Go on, white lady. Ah, hell, hell, hell. For Rebel HQ, I'm Jeff Wiggins. My architect knows Japanese. For more from the Young Turks, stay right here. To see additional content from yours truly, click on the Jeff Wiggins hashtag. You can also find me on my YouTube channel, We Gonna Be Alright. Thanks for watching.